What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Today, we have another mail call slash channel update for you. No giveaway this time, but soon we will have a very big one. You guys really seem to like the mail calls. The last one got decent views, a lot of good engagement. So as long as you guys like these and engage in these videos, and I'll keep on making them. What we're going to do is I have a bunch of stuff here on the table. I have a very big pile down there on the floor. I have a lot of stuff that just came in that I'm going to show you guys what to expect for new reviews. I want to give a shout out to a few companies. I have a few uh, channel updates, a few life updates at the end, but let's get right into it. You guys know who the biggest supporter of the channel is. It's not Burris. It is not just shooting in outdoors. They've been saying just chit chat with them how they can't keep Burris Optics on the shelf. And I've never reviewed a Burris Optic. I know very, very little about them. So they said, how about we send you one and you review? So they did. They sent me one. I'm going to review it. And I'm looking forward to it because as I'm watching other folks review on these and, and stuff, reading stuff online, it's pretty good. So it's the full field E1 3 to 9 by 50. Obviously, Burris brings a lot of value. It's not a uh, super expensive optic. But I look forward to checking that out. Now I have two really nice guns down here on the table. We're talking over $5,000 each. You may have seen them on Instagram and Facebook. Before we do that though, uh, Streamlight. They came out with the new TLR7X. It's very similar to the TLR7A, but it's now dual feel. You can run their uh, SLB9 rechargeable battery, SBL9, whatever the model number is, or you can run a standard CR23, which is great. It's perfect. The rest of the features I think are about the same. Um, this review, Actually, by the time I release the video you're watching, the review on that might already be out. So, anyway, which one do we start with? Do we go revolver or semi-auto? Let's go revolver. I don't know why. Koth Arms. I don't think I've showed this. I'll actually take that back. I've showed this off on Instagram and Facebook a whole bunch. I've also done an unboxing video on YouTube as well, so it's not a surprise to some of you. But a Koth Revolver is beautiful. There's not too many revolvers brands that can hang with a cloth, they're like uh, hand fit over in Germany, imported by uh, Nighthawk Customs. And you have a spot for a red dot, you have a spot for a light, a comp. It's a very modernized revolver. Um, the cylinder in here is nine millimeter and you don't need moon clips, which is cool. It comes with another cylinder that's 357 Magnum. And I'm just gonna say that uh, like most high-end guns, the fit and finish and lockup is just so tight. Single action trigger is stupid. If you have the disposable income, yeah, I think it's worth it. The key is who has the disposable income. All right, another very, very nice gun. Again, I've done a, a first impressions video on this. It's already live on my YouTube channel and I've shared uh, pictures and videos on Instagram. It is an Alchemy Prime Elite 1911. Alchemy, very, very high end, hand fit, hand built 1911s. Um, they have a wide selection, so I'm not gonna go through all the features, you'll have to watch the video. But a very nice hand fit, high end gun, and just, yeah. So, next on the table here is my underwear. I'm gonna show you guys my underwear. I'm about to record the video for this in the next couple of days, maybe the next week or so, it's gun to wear. It's a nice, you know, soft spandexy type of underwear, but there's a big pad right here, I think you can see. They have one with the padded appendix, they have one at three o'clock, they have one at five o'clock, so different carry styles. And it's exactly what you would expect. There's a big pad here, and it's supposed to make your firearm more comfortable when you're carrying it, and it does, especially when you're sitting down. When I'm standing, I don't really find my firearm uncomfortable. Sitting down for long periods of time, absolutely. So those are pretty cool. There's some pros, there's some cons, but you got to watch the full video to get all of those. Now, out of all the cool things I already showed you and I'm about to show you, this is the one, so weird, that I'm most excited about. I got a very big, nice range bag from High Table Outfitters. All my buddies were rocking these range bags at the range, and I'm like, where'd you guys get all these bags? And they're, they're very big bags, so... If you load it up too heavy, it's gonna be it's gonna be heavy. If you load it up with too much stuff, but they're really nice. There's a, uh, again, I'll do a review on it. But there's a spot in the bottom you can put two rifles if you break it down, even a couple rifles and some pistols. And this big center area is huge. So what a lot of my buddies did, they had their nods and their helmet and their ammo and all that stuff in there, which is great when I go shoot night vision, which is not nearly as often as I should. But I like form. I've been tossing loose guns in my range bag and carrying them back and forth that way. And with the alchemy and the cloth and anything high end, I am not doing that. So this is gonna allow me 
to put the guns in the case or the box they come in, in this range bag. And it still has several pockets in the front, several pockets in the back, spots for uh, uh, magazines. I mean, this thing is big, huge, wheels, straps, carry handles. It's an extremely nice bag, high table outfitters. And I will do a full review on this in the next couple weeks. So much stuff. All right, Gun Mag Warehouse sent me this Push Mag Reloader, and I haven't opened it, haven't used it. I've seen several other people use it, and it looks extremely cool. So you uh, you put a bunch of rounds in the bottom of it, and then you push the put the mag in the top, and you just push it down, and that's how you pump, 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 pump it up. And that's how you load the magazine. Again, I haven't used it. I don't know anything about it, but I will start using it this week when I, or probably before I go to the range, I'll preload the mags and make my life easy. Where do I go next? Icarus Precision. I've been on the Icarus kick for years before most people and they just came out with the Polymer 365 grip. Their grips are wonderful, they're beautiful, but they're four or 500 bucks. Not everyone is willing and able to spend that. I get it. So they came out with the Polymer grip. I believe it's $129.99. It has the same great um, contours as the metal grip. It has the speed ledge for, uh, for your support thumb really good texturing. The texture on it is one of the best polymer textures I've, I've seen and it's just a really really nice grip. I'm very much looking forward to getting a magazine release installed and shooting this. I, uh, I am going to a three-day training which we'll go over in a second and I'm thinking about shooting that all three days. Well two of the three days because one day is a medical course. You can get the idea. All right, TriStar Trading. Hey look I got a TriStar Trading shirt on. There will be a, there's always a link below to try start trading in uh, the video you know where. One of my favorite shirts of theirs is Become Ungovernable. Be ungovernable, and that's the kill dozer if you don't know. Here, I'll get a little closer for you. There you go. Very cool shirt. They have some awesome designs, including the Tiberius Gib design, but they have some really awesome designs if you want to check them out. All right. This is from Arms Preservation. I already did a review on Arms Preservation. They're anti-corrosion bag for anything metal like a pew pew. And I said in the video, I'm going to do a test where I take a bunch of different types of metal, I'll store a couple in some bags, and then I'll store a couple loose and we'll see how the loose ones rust compared to the ones in the bag. They cut me a bunch of different type of metal and they sent it to me in a bag so it didn't get, you know, wet or anything wrong with it at all and um, enough so we could put a few pieces in the bag, a few pieces out of the bag. That was extremely nice of them. They did not have to do that. I could have found some metal somewhere. Like my buddy at Roscoe Manufacturing is gonna give me some barrel, untreated barrel metal. I'm gonna put some steel case rounds in there on the outside and any other metal that I have that's exactly the same so we can compare apples and apples, but that should be a good test. All right, on the counter here, I have two things from my, uh, my second YouTube channel. If you don't know, Oh, if you don't know, I have a second YouTube channel. It's all about off-roading and e-bikes and my Bronco and stuff. And two companies watched my videos and were super kind, so I want to give them a shout out. One of them, I installed mud flaps on my Bronco. I know, very excited. And my only con was the screws were really long and they stuck out and they were very much an eyesore. The company shockingly watched the video because that channel is very small. It's only like 1,600-ish subs. And they said, hey, Tiberius, you want us to send you shorter screws. We have shorter screws, but we include the longer ones because it's easier to install. That was extremely nice of them, so I wanted to say thank you. Another one is called Buckle Up... Siri, yeah, wonderful. Buckle Up Buttercup. Um, they have a bunch of Bronco accessories, and she's also a fellow YouTuber as well. I bought two products from a website that I liked, and I installed them on my Bronco. Those reviews are up on the channel. And uh, she saw the reviews, and she was so thankful, she sent me those two stickers that I kind of didn't show you, that I put in there already, and she sent me a t-shirt as a thank you. Again, neither one had to do that, so it was very, very nice of them. Think. These are the last two things I have to go over with you. Relaxed Fit Tactical. They make uh, basketball shorts and different concealed carry gear that allows you to still wear a belt. They have uh, Velcro in the inside of the pants. You wear their belt, Velcro's together, and it allows you to carry a good size firearm and basketball shorts. And they have new shorts I'm gonna show you in a second. The only thing I don't like is they included some USCCA stickers. Those will go right in the trash. Any company who partners with Tim Kennedy, I don't support. Anyway, they gave me a belt. Their belt is very nice, very rigid, definitely thick and heavy enough to support the weight of a full-size Glock 17-ish size firearm. I believe this is a belly band. To be honest, I just broke the bag. 
to be honest, I didn't open it and check. It just looked like a belly band from in the back. Yeah. So their belly band is a universal belly band. This must be new as well. I've never seen it. It does come with the spare mag pouch. It has a little strap to go over the gun as well. I've done a video. Um, it's like a 30 minute video comparing all different belly bands and ways of carrying without a belt. And uh, very similar belly bands in that video if you want to check it out. Now their new shorts are not really basketball shorts. They're more dressier they're not dress shorts because they still like that soft nice soft i don't know what material let's see what material they are 95 percent poly polyester five percent spandex either way it's super super soft so i'm sure they're going to be very very comfortable and again you have the spots in the inside where the velcro goes velcros to the belt boom 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 magic you can carry a firearm uh, i've had their basketball shorts for several months and they're still holding up very well now in here in here in here sorry i got distracted by the book uh nutrient survival uh, is is a great supporter of the channel there's a code for them i'll put it up here on the screen there's a link down in the video description they've been great this is something i'm about to do a review on they're getting involved in my 50,000 subscriber giveaway the food is great so it's it's adventure food and long-term survival food um, but it's, it's packed full of vitamins and nutrients. So it's not nearly, nearly as bad as um, all the um, freeze dried food. If you look at the ingredients and how bad they are for you, they're terrible. No nutrients, no vitamins, very little protein, tons of sodium. Nutrient survival is much, much better for you. Anyway, this book is Wise Up Ignorance Kills and Truth Heals. And I didn't know they were sending me this book. Um, I have no idea what it's about, but I'll talk about it in the review. I'll go through and either read it, but it looks like there's a lot to do about health and nutrition in here. I'll have it ready when I do the review. But they have these go bags. Hold on. They have these go bags that come in a waterproof uh, dry bag. So you roll, it's clipped and it's rolled up and everything stays in here very, very dry. And they have a bunch of uh, like 10 different or so predetermined kits. And they have one that you can custom build your own. And inside here, there's like five of one meal, five of another, five, 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 five. So it's 25 meals in, in this particular kit. All the kits are different. And there's also 30 servings of coffee. I went with this one because one, I need coffee. Whether I go camping and I use this, or it's an emergency or whatever, I need coffee. I can't survive without coffee. And there's mac and cheese in here. I need mac and cheese and I need coffee. So anyway, nutrient survival, good stuff, good company. I've done a lot with them and I will continue to do a lot with them. And uh, code and link below. All right, couple quick channel updates and a personal update and then you can go. My 50,000 subscriber giveaway that I mentioned earlier, it's getting ridiculously big and I'm very excited for you guys and even more excited for the winner. I have like an optic in there, a plate carrier, armor, eye pro, air pro, cleaning products, anti-corrosion bags, Faraday bags. I pretty much, uh, I'm gonna talk to TriStar, I'm sure they'll give something. I'm gonna talk to Blackout Coffee, I'm sure they'll give something like, any company that I'm cool with that have supported me, I'm gonna ask them if they wanna get involved and the giveaway should be huge. I'm talking thousands and thousands of dollars. My question for you about it is though, should I pick one winner to win it all or should I divvy it up in different lots and like have two, three, four, five winners? Cause I think it's gonna be like, I might, maybe I'm exaggerating so don't quote me on it, but I think it's gonna be like five grand worth of stuff. I mean, it's huge, no firearms, but like five grand worth of stuff. It's going to be an enormous, enormous giveaway and I'm very, very excited for it. You let me know your opinion. All right, in a few days from the time I release this video, I am going to the Texas Shooter Symposium. It is a uh, four day event. One day is vendor day and I'm gonna be there with Neo Mag, my company I work for. And we're gonna be setting up a table and selling our wares and educating people on our cool innovative product because we do have cool and innovative products. And the next three days is training and I'm super excited. One day is gonna be medical. One day I'm training with uh, uh, Aaron Cowan from Sage Dynamics. I've met Aaron a few times, never trained with him. And the other day I'm taking a tactical pistol course with Bill Blower, another one I've never met or trained with. So I'm very, very excited. And the unlikely uh, chance that somebody who's watching this is going to be there, please come by, say hi, introduce yourself. I love making new friends. Besides that, I'm going on vacation in 21 days. I'm not gonna tell you where. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see it, but I'm not gonna tell you when or where, but I'm so excited. It's a beautiful island. I go there every year, so it's not really much of a secret, but I can't wait. I am very, very excited. I feel like I'm forgetting something. That's why I'm looking around this room. 
Hang on one second, I did. Look at this 50 cal air rifle. It's from Air Venturi. It's called the Dragon Claw 2. It's the new Dragon Claw. They've had one before, and this one is significantly upgraded and more robust and significantly more powerful, and it's enormous. I'm almost hitting my light up there. I haven't even shot this yet. I can't wait. They gave me a bunch of 50 cal little projectiles, whatever you call them with air rifles. They gave me a bunch of air uh, uh, arrows as well air rifle arrows you can shoot over and over and I can't wait to go to the range It's fortunately it's like 40 degrees all week and raining and windy So I can't go this week and then next week. I'm going to Texas So I don't know when I'm gonna get to the range. Hopefully it warms up soon But what do you guys want to see me shoot with this thing? This thing is big and beautiful and badass I'm gonna do a dedicated review on it and I'm also gonna do some videos just like shooting watermelon and soda pop and whatever else you guys think I should shoot. All right, I'm done talking. That's all I got. Thank you very much. You got to subscribe to the channel or I will beat you with this thing. No, subscribe to the channel so I can hit 49,000 subs and release the giveaway. And then I'll pick at least one winner when I hit 50,000 subs. So subscribe. Thank you. I love you. I'll see you later.